Okay, I just want to show you the extendable lead. It's a very popular thing for dog owners. It comes in different shapes and sizes, not always as colorful as this or with the light in the front. But the principle is that this lead extends out and back again. And the owner can, the handler can control it by locking it over here if they don't want it to go any further or just letting it go as far as the dog wants to go. So clearly the advantage of an extendable lead is that the dog has more freedom and can do more things and go sniffing in more places. But there are some disadvantages. If this gets caught in a, um, uh, around a tree or a post or something, um, it may snap and break and the dog is no longer safe. Um, it could also happen that the owner stumbles and drops the lead by accident. And this could either give the dog a huge fright and after that it doesn't want to walk anymore with the, with the extendable lead or it could obviously also result in the dog just running off and not being under control and it might run in front of a car or something. Um, this is not a good thing to use on a dog that is used to pulling hard on a lead. Um, the owner has less control with this sort of thing. So it has to be a dog that already walks quite well on a lead without pulling on the lead. And it's always better to first get, let a dog learn how to walk nicely on a normal lead before you use an extendable lead. Um, one other lead, oh sorry, I just want to show you where it attaches. So obviously it has a clip and it just attaches either on the collar or it can attach on the body harness as well. Okay. There's one more lead that I'd like to show you. Um, let me show you first and then you work out what it is. Okay, so this is a sort of a nylon fabric um, type of material. Can you see what this looks like? Does that remind you of a slip collar? Mm, it is a slip collar. Okay, um, it has a little stop over 